Hey, it's Pastor Steve here. It is Friday, February 26th, 2015, and uh, I've been filming the next session of our Own Your Faith videos, and so I'm here on our my little green screen set. So I thought I'd do my Friday vlog from here. And uh, I just want to encourage you this week with uh, something that kind of discouraged me. Uh, you know, I've been working on my dissertation for four years now and actually started writing it back last August. And my research project ended in November and I've been on this timeline in my own mind. My goal was to graduate on May 17th of this year. And so, you know, I'm a project oriented person and I have all my plans and my goal was to turn in my final draft on January 30th. And so I was writing and writing all during the fall. And I turned in my draft on January 17th to my advisor thinking, yes, I've given myself a couple weeks, you know, I'll just make a couple tweaks. Well, I didn't hear from her for three weeks. And at the beginning of February, I got an email that said, you know, you got a lot more work to do on this. And my world just went like, whoa, what am I going to do? I've got my plans and I, my, everything, everything just seemed to be falling apart. Well, I finally have come to terms with the fact that I really don't yet understand exactly how to write this dissertation. And so, we've set a new goal. First of all, I'm not going to graduate in May. I'm going to try to rewrite my dissertation over the next eight weeks or so, and turn it in by April 30th. And you know, as I was thinking about this disappointment, this deconstruction of my own plan and this reconstruction of a new plan, it got me thinking that, you know, that's what my whole project is about, is that I have been on this journey of relearning really the nature of God, going deeper into this understanding of God. And I want to look at just two pictures that I've been working on over the last month or so. The first one is, is a was inspired by something I saw at Planet Wisdom when Mark Macklock was talking about my favorite passage, John 15. I've been drawing the vine forever, but he talked about what if the vine were kind of like an electric outlet, you know? And so we take out our cell phones, and uh, these cell phones are wonderful things, but if, they, if they're not plugged into the outlet, and they don't have power, they, they really don't work. And so, kind of combine these two ideas and I was just reminded of the fact that our job is not to produce fruit, right? My job, my sense of identity doesn't rest in the fact that I can accomplish my goal and finish my dissertation by my deadline. My job is to remain in the vine, to keep my focus on Jesus. And that's all that really matters. And when I, when I thought about it in those terms, you know what it did? Just brought me peace. <laughs> like, sweet, that's okay. I don't need to graduate. I'll just keep working, keep learning. And, uh, you know, my whole project has been about wondering whether or not uh, an increased awareness and understanding of social trinity will impact spiritual formation. Well, this is just another opportunity for me to learn the depths of this. Uh, I've been working on this overflow class and uh, I've taught two sessions so far. You can check out those videos if you want. But last week I put this slide up during my class. And uh, as we look at this, it's, it's just this meditation. We are created by the community of the triune God, creator, redeemer, sustainer, for community with all things. That's what it's all about. It's not about accomplishing goals and meeting my deadlines. It's about having deeper and deeper opportunities to grow and learn. And I tell you, I'm learning something through this process. So, I don't know. It was a disappointing week, but God has encouraged me to go even deeper. So, I hope you find some encouragement in this. See you next time.